Today, we're talking about the elephant in the room, okay? The elephant in the room, I hate to say it, is women, all right? I'm a woman. I approve this message, 100%. Um, I go out in public, I go to work, I go to the gym, I go to the grocery store, and there's a fucking silent competition with other women. What is that shit? What is this? That, that girl concept? Girl, the fuck? Like, we're supposed to be bettering each other. We're supposed to be a community. But now it's like, I can't even find a fucking friend out here. Like, everybody just like, rah, like the fucking lions. What is this? Like, I okay, I go to work, right? And there's this girl, and she's a little younger than me, so I understand that she's not like mentally on my page, right? I'm not saying she's not secure in herself. I'm not saying she's insecure. I'm saying that she just doesn't have the same perspective as me, period. Just that, just gonna say that. So I understand that. And I'm the one who always starts the conversation first. And quite honestly, it's very fucking exhausting. I start most conversations with women and it's really, really, really exhausting. Why can't women just dead eyes swallow their fucking pride? Why, why, are, why are women's pride becoming bigger than a man's pride? That's the real question. I'm not gonna speak on men because I'm not a fucking man, but that's just what I see. That's just what I see in my perspective. I see women just trying to be better than men and even better than women. Cause it's like, what the, f what are we doing? We're, <laughs> we're not gods. The only people that should have a godlike mindset are doctors and surgeons. Okay, let's get that fucking clear. We're all living the same life. Unless you're that billionaire tycoon ass person, rich as hell, can afford anything, can afford to lose a friend, okay? There's no need to be acting like you're better than anybody because you're literally, you're not. You're, you're not. Humbly, you need to be humble, okay? I'm humble. I'm able to be like, okay, well, I know I'm not fucking successful, but guess what? I'm gonna ask you how you got successful. I'm gonna ask you questions because I get value out of that. Now, it's up to everyone else what they want to get value out of. Like, you don't gotta sit there and make friends with everybody. You don't gotta be like, oh, hi, I'm Kira. Uh, what, what are you into? What's your goals? Blah, blah. You don't have to do all of that. You know, that's for the entrepreneurs. That's for the people that want to network, okay? If you don't want to network, don't network. But don't make it harder for people that want to network, okay? Because we'll be, okay, there'll be a room full of women. Let me give you a, a visual here. A women, a room full of women, all different ages, right? And there's two women talking to each other. The rest of the women are just sitting there silent. We're, so, we're supposed to get together. We're supposed to connect. We're supposed to be so in tune with each other that it's like, it's almost repulsive in a way. Like it should be so connected that our energy is just bouncing off each other and we're gaining, we're gaining value and energy out of each other. But no, it's like we stop ourselves because we're like, oh, this person doesn't deserve my energy. I'm going to keep my energy in myself and I'm gonna be this, this fatal woman. I'm gonna be divine fatal woman, divine feminine. Like girl, you're not being feminine by doing that. You're being dead ass masculine. You're being dead ass prideful, prideful and masculine. And the entire, I don't want to speak on everybody because people are going to get mad, but it's, it's true. The whole generation is becoming masculine to the fucking bone. <laughs> I can go out, I can go out and smile at someone and they will not smile at me. Like, it's crazy. I mean, I expect, I expect that out of a man, okay? I expect that out of a man. But it's like nowadays the men are being nicer than the women. That, that's not good. Okay, that's not good at all. I expect, I expect to have friends. I expect to have connections with other women because I'm a woman. You know, women and women, we just know it's different. Whenever there is a connection, it's like, whoa, where have you been my whole life? And, you know, like now I relate with you. We relate with each other. Like we're supposed to relate. We're supposed to swap cycles and like, we're supposed to swap ideas and energies and, oh, I think like this, or oh, I think like perspective. Women bring perspective, okay? And your perspective is not any different than anybody else's. I'm telling you right fucking now, you're not better than anybody else. If anything, the rich people are better than you and you need to go look up to them. 
But no, you want to keep quiet, shut your mouth, have this stank bitch face on, right? I understand some of us have a, a resting bitch face, but it's like we formed it naturally in ourselves. Like, what is that? There's no need to have repellent on your face, okay? The repellent should be in your words. It should be in your energy. If you don't want to talk to someone, just be like, hey, you know, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm like, I'm on my third week cycle. Like, I, I'm just, I'm really feeling antisocial, okay? It, it starts with acknowledgement, right? But it's like, I just want to make friends. I just want to connect with other women. And I want this world to not feel so shallow. It's so shallow. It's like, it's so in your face on the surface that it's like, we're ignoring it. We're ignoring the fact that we're just isolating ourselves and it's normal, we're normalizing it. No, it's not okay. It is not fucking okay. I'm here telling you on the video, it's not fucking gonna, it's not okay. It's not gonna slide no more. Quite honestly, they're taking advantage of you. Okay, let, let me say this again. The economy is taking advantage of you. Okay, they are using women for capitalism. Because men don't spend that much money. They, they do, but women spend way more money. Okay, and what are women spending money on? Being better than the next bitch. Right? I mean, am I right? Like, it's all about being that girl, being that bitch, being like the highest hierarchy of who? Of who? You're not Queen Elizabeth. You're not Kim Kardashian. You're you're fucking you're you. So be you. Humble you, and go make some friends because your friends is what could be your value. Your value you bring to other people. If you're not bringing no value to no one, if you're just isolating yourself, you know I'm just I'm in my in my working girl era. I'm in my like working on myself era. That's great. But you're fucking selfish. You're a selfish ass bitch. Like, <laughs> it's, I hate to say it, but it's true. And quite honestly, I felt the same way before. I felt the same way, but guess what? I got mad lonely. I got so lonely that I'm like, whoa, like I have no connections. I have no, like I feel very isolated. I feel alone. I feel like no one can understand how I'm feeling. It gets to the point where my poor boyfriend has to deal with that shit and he a man so it's like women if you can deal with it why aren't you dealing with other people's shit why aren't you letting yourself be open and letting yourself be the healer because women are healers women are natural fucking healers nurturers all of that we, we listen we know how to connect we are we are gatherers nurturers we gather people together what the fuck is wrong with us get together and build something huge bigger than yourself because that's what women do we are not big in ourselves because our pride is not bigger than a man i don't know what you're trying to build synthetically but naturally our pride and ego should never be bigger than a man never and if it is you might as well go take some hormone pills and go be a fucking man like it's it's crazy to me like the real femininity is saying saying something to someone real femininity is like hey i like your outfit where did you get it straight up like that because if you like someone's outfit if you like someone anything if you like how someone looks you say that shit you don't ignore it you don't put that in your notes and be like okay so she's wearing this so that means that i have to wear this and i have to like be better than that like you're psyching yourself into a fucking delusion of nonsense okay delusion Healthy delusion is okay. Healthy delusion is okay. But this unhealthy elephant in the room is the most toxic delusion that I've ever witnessed in my life, okay? I've had friends in high school and I was probably the odd one out. I was like the funny one. I was the one that went up to the hostess and was like, okay, we have a party for four. You know, like I was the, I was the mature one, okay? And I didn't see this in my head. I'm like, okay, well, they don't feel comfortable talking to other people, so. I mean, that's just what it is. I'll go do it myself. Now looking back on it, I'm like, nah, I was just more feminine than all my friends. All my friends, masculine as fuck. Already silently competing with me, silently competing with everyone else around them and just building themselves up to make them feel this prideful ass, like 
I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's like we've built this wall between every woman and all the validation we get is through simp beta ass men. Simp beta ass men. So instead of reinforcing our pride and ego into masculine men, we are putting it into ourselves, creating emasculated and feminine men. Let me say that again. We are projecting our pride and ego into ourselves instead of projecting it into masculine men, creating feminine, emasculated men. Men, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Because we're the cause of it. Women are the cause of it. Because women have the power to change, to change a lot of shit. Like, I'm not going to say the world. But we change a lot of, we change a lot, okay? We change a lot in a month, a 28-day cycle. Like, that's a different video to talk about. But we change a lot. So, I believe the answer to the elephant in the room and not having an elephant in the room is women just understanding themselves. If you don't understand yourself, honey, 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 you're just making your life and everybody else's life a fucking hell, a living hell, okay? If you're in your 20s, like tick, 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 yo, it is time to fucking figure yourself out. You got time if you're in your teens, if you're 18, 19, just graduated high school, all this and that. But like, once you graduate high school, it's like you're on your own, yo. You gotta go figure yourself out. If you gotta go join a gym, if you gotta go get a job and get your car, like go figure that shit out. It doesn't have to take much pride and ego. You don't have to turn into a masculine woman to get that shit, okay? All you have to do is be honest with yourself, be humble with yourself, and just make some friends. Just connect with people. Make yourself feel feminine because you're supposed to be nurturing naturally. The answer to the elephant in the room is to honestly accept it. Accept that you are being prideful. Accept that you're not as confident as you think you are because we all have this commitment to ourselves to love each other. We love ourselves, okay? This is my constant commitment to myself. I love myself to the day I die, right? I love myself. And it's a constant battle until the day I die. I'm not gonna say that I love myself every single day. I mean, I do. But naturally, you know, you're, you, you, you're gonna feel some type of way sometimes. You're gonna feel your flaws, feel your insecurities, right? So if you're gonna sit here and tell me that you wake up every single day feeling like that bitch you're lying to yourself you're lying to society you're lying to everybody around you because you're not a fucking man okay a man is supposed to wake up with a hard ass dick okay not a woman let me let me say that right now okay let me say that again man's supposed to wake up with testosterone and a hard dick okay women don't have dicks Okay? We have emotions and energy and aura and we have connections and we feel it in ourselves. We have, a, like, we have an intuition that is unmatched and we're throwing it away. We're, th we're throwing that shit away. And then when we go see other women, we're like, hmm, let me put on my frame. Let me make sure my ass is tight and my booty's in and everything is good. Like, you're impressing the wrong people, okay? I don't give a fuck what you look like. I give a fuck about your energy and what you're bringing. You ain't bringing shit. You're bringing masculine energy, and I'm just gonna label you like, okay, you're masculine. Stay away from you. You're masculine. Stay away from you. Like, it's just, it's inevitable. I can't even find someone that is just so true. In the, I mean, okay. The older women are more understanding of themselves. I'm really just speaking on gen z a little bit millennial for sure millennial gen z we're all like forming into one and it's a pride it's pride it's pride and ego we're not able to swallow it we're like no i'm that bitch i'm this person i'm better than this blah 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 like it's not it's not fair to people like me because all i do is try to talk to people and it's like i am chopping down a brick wall that they're building like it's like bitch like let me through can i see what you're up to can i see what you're like like what are you doing like it's it's 
it's so annoying. It's so exhausting. It really is exhausting. Like I go out into the world and I really expect the same energy and I don't receive it. I don't receive it. I get better energy out of random guys than I do from every other woman I meet. And why can't, like, I know women are not as decisive as men, but why can't we just be decisive with what we do? Why can't we, why are we questioning everything? Why are we always like, oh, well, what is she going to say? She's going to think I'm like this if I say this. No, girl, say it. Girl, say it with your chest. Because at this point, if you already got pride, say it with your chest. Okay? So, that's it. That's the elephant in the room. And if you're offended, I'm sorry. But it just had to be said. The elephant in the room is only going to get bigger unless someone actually notices it. And I know we all notice it, so just putting that out there.